Hey, Sneak Peekers, I'm Timo Nelson here at South by Southwest 2023. We're on the red carpet tonight for the National Geographic series, A Small Light. Let's check it out. This is a show about a woman in her 20s and her husband, and they're just trying to figure out how to be in their 20s and married and fight with their friends and their parents and hide this big thing they're doing. Um, and at every moment, you know, I think what's exciting about the show is that you know, they're, they, they don't know the end of the story. Each day they're just trying to get through the day and they're looking at each other like, oh, is this bad? How bad is it? Do we need to be worried yet? I don't know, are you worried? What do you think? Is that guy gonna get elected? I don't know. I mean, we're, it's kind of a version of what we're doing. Um, so I think this is an opportunity to show the relatable um, timelessness of how it feels to be in like a shifting culture. Um, so it was exciting to think about doing that in a way that's not overly stayed and where there's not, you know, like a heavy, boring violin score and everybody's serious and everyone's clothes are brown, you know? We discovered how young Meep was when Otto Frank asked her to help hide his family. And the fact that she said yes instantly. And he said, no, 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 you should think about it because the consequences of taking this on, you could be killed for doing this. And she was like, I don't need to think about it. And that kind of bravery and also selflessness I think is something that we can really all look to. Um, you know, we're always as storytellers looking for those kind of unsung heroes of history, and she really is one. And in our research, and you'll see in the show, what we discovered is, is that at the same time she was hiding the Franks, she was also hiding, she and her husband Jan were also hiding up to 10 other people in and around Amsterdam. So Meep's message was always, don't call me a hero because that distances people from me. Anybody is capable of doing what I did. It's just about making those individual decisions. It was scary at first, because obviously everybody knows Anne Frank, um, but after all the research that I did, I, I felt a lot more at ease with it, with it. And also, the writing really did show her true self, so it, it allows this new version of Anne that people don't really know or haven't yet got to know which I think it gave me some freedom with it, which I enjoyed. It was a lot more relaxing with it. Well, I would say it was so special that we filmed in Prague in Amsterdam. So we were able to film right outside the Anne Frank apartment and we got to film in location in Amsterdam. So that was so special. We got a private tour of the Frank family building when we were there and we got to learn all about these new things that I hadn't even heard of before about the Frank family itself and I was so inspired. Yes, um, there are fun scenes. It's not all dark, it's not all gloomy. It, it really shows the lightness that they had in their lives and also the darkness and, and also here's Ashley and we had a lot of fun times because we're same age so you know we, we loved being on set together, messing about, seriously obviously messing about but having fun with each other, laughing a lot with all the other cast as well. What is advice? I mean, I love talking to people who are just starting out because it was a really long road for me and the road is kind of endless and it's fraught with like constant challenges at any at any phase of the process. So I would say, um, you know, there's a tendency for people to talk about just the successful parts because it feels really annoying for them to have to revisit the struggles. But I've had a ton of false starts and I've had a ton of like self-doubt and I've had a ton of moments where something was supposed to happen and then it didn't or I trusted someone and then that person was not helpful. Um, you know, so I think it's just like if you have the resilience and you work hard and you form communities with other people that you feel that you feel creatively aligned with, um, then you can rise together and then you can all kind of give each other work or at least at least give each other like support in the forming a community is the most important thing but but if you can be resilient and flexible about what success looks like to you if you can say well I didn't really think I would be a comedy writer but I got this job or I didn't really think I'd write an anima animation but this could be an opportunity everybody I know who's like able to be a little bit flexible in that way um, has found their niche in some way